All right, so what we're going to be learning in this video is uh, about forms and uh, what they can do and basically how to set them up. And then in the next few videos, we're going to be covering all the different elements that uh, a form can consist of. So the first thing we're going to do, basic, uh, a very basic uh, part of this is, we're, well, first we're going to create a section for it. Uh, and this time, since we haven't used a lot of properties other than the images, with the images we learned the basic format of a property, we didn't learn about what kind of values can go into what kind of property. Uh, and that's something we're really going to focus on later on. And again, this is a property, and this is the value of that property. So you write the property name equals, and then the value, uh, usually in quotations. So we're going to be setting an ID here. Uh, and it's going to be contact form. And the reason why you would set properties sometimes is just to be able to have something that you can target, either to style something using a style sheet or to uh, create user interactions with JavaScript. And so using ID elements uh, or ID properties and class properties are the two most common things that you're going to be adding to elements themselves in terms of properties. So I want you guys to get into the practice of that, and so that's why we're starting here. Right now, having this ID set, we're not actually going to do anything with it, but it's just to get you guys used to writing out uh, properties inside of elements. So the first thing we're going to do is create the form element itself. Now this uh, is going to contain a lot of different types of data. Uh, it might include input fields where you can type in single lines, uh, text areas, uh, check boxes and whatnot. And so a form is going to be a data set. So any input uh, or yeah, any data that's user generated within this form is going to be stored in the same data set and you can then use it for you know other reasons. Um, so this is going to be a bit difficult because we're not learning PHP, uh, which I might, I mean, I might just write a quick script uh, aside just to be able to demonstrate what this does. So the method is going to be either post or get. And the key difference between these is, let's say I have domain.com. If I'm submitting a form with the method post, uh, the, the URL just stays like this. But if it's get, once you actually submit the form, let's say you had a name, you know, and then that would be equal to whatever the user put in, uh, and age would be equal to whatever the user put in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and so this is what a get submission will look like. Uh, or a form submission using the get method and post it does it all behind the scenes and you don't see it in the URL. So uh, when you're doing passwords and stuff, obviously it's going to make sense to post it. Um, sometimes it's easier to use get because then you can also just link to very specific results uh, within the URL. You know, if you want to send someone to a URL with pre-filled values, you can do that. And the action, this is going to be uh, the where it's going to submit to. So let's say I had a file in here called. Uh, uh, well, we need an, a, a, a. Let's build a pizza order form. So that's what we're going to be doing throughout the next few videos, I guess. So um, we're going to create a script called place order.php. And that file doesn't exist right now, but it would exist right here. And so these two properties are the most important properties for a form, unless you're submitting with JavaScript. And we will learn that later, so don't even worry about that. When you create a form, uh, create the method attribute, which can either be post or get, and then the action attribute, which is going to be the script that runs uh, when it gets the data. So this is where you're going to direct the form to. And that's the basics of setting up a form. Now, what we're going to be doing in the next video is just putting some basic inputs. Uh, we're going to be focusing on just regular text, and then we'll get to more advanced form um, elements.